Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series we've been jumping in once again and we've got something interesting that's happened. Um, a bug has been fixed with Repentance Plus that actually was unintentionally causing every single item from the mod to just not appear altogether. Um, so we haven't been seeing Repentance Plus items for multiple months. I haven't actually noticed this. Uh, they're still in greed mode, but they're not in normal mode, but that bug has been fixed. Uh, the developer messaged me today and was like, hey, I have a sinking feeling that my items aren't showing up. And I checked and I went back through my like history of videos and yeah, they haven't been showing up for quite some time. Um, tears go up proportional to how many broken hearts you have. I mean, considering that doesn't give any broken hearts off the bat, probably going to be a reasonably useless item, but not a bad thing to have it, I suppose. I also did add a new mod that makes it so that you can one-shot destroy fires and poops when outside of combat, just because I think that's a cool little tweak. Uh, Book of the Dead's actually really nice here. I will grab Book of the Dead and be very happy about it. But yeah, for example, I mean, it doesn't really make a difference with uh, with this character because you, you've got beams. But you'll notice that the the poops and stuff are insta-destroy, uh, which is just going to save us a lot of time um, and be a little less tedious. And I'm not a huge fan of mods that do that where they take away some of the time, like they, they save time and stuff like that because obviously it allows you to get to boss rush quicker and stuff. But, oh, Golden Penny, ho holy hell. Uh, but I will say that this one particularly is really nice just because destroying poops and fires is always a very annoying and tedious act, so it should hopefully make for less annoying times when I get, like, card against humanity like we had in the previous episode or anything like that. Um, as for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today, if you cut on, do you know, I started a sentence, I don't even know where I'm going with it. Um, th this is a better one. What's your dream home? If, like, if you were being realistic, if you were being, like, not just, oh, I want a mansion, but what's what's something that you really want in your dream home? What is something that you strive to have? And any of you that might already have it, um, what is it? <laughs> For me, I, I kind of, there's only really two things, well, three things that I want um, from, a, from a home. Particularly, one is very good internet, which I already have where I'm living now, but I'm in an apartment at the minute. So yeah, that's that's obviously a big one, which is to no one's surprise. Probably to no one's surprise as well is a very nice kitchen. And then either a balcony or a garden, depending on if it's like a flat or whatnot. Um, I would very, very much like to have a garden, but houses at the minute are insane. I don't know if uh, what it's like in other countries. I'm sure it's just the same as it is here, but... Go trying to get a house right now is is just impossible. <laughs> it's just ridiculously tough. Um, that I don't know what's going on, but I've not really like me and my girlfriend haven't really started looking for a house yet. But um, we know that like when we do, it's going to be tough. And one of the only reasons we haven't really is just because it is so difficult right now. Like luckily, I'm a I'm a pretty good saver, as is my girlfriend. So we've managed to save up money for when we do want to go and get a house. Um, Especially with the jobs that we've got recently, we're both, um, we're both in decent jobs, so we're able to save a little more. Um, so, like, I've been trying to do that as much as I can. That's kind of nice. Ace of Diamonds. Well, Ace of Diamonds will take that. Yes, yeah, so I've been trying to save as much as I can. We've got these, like, helping to buy ISA things, which is basically, like, an account that you can pay into monthly. And um, what it'll do is it, it will essentially... Once you go to put a deposit down on a house, you can take the money out of that ISA and the bank will give you 50% of what's in it back for free as extra. It's a really good system. I'm guessing most countries don't have something that's quite that good. Um, it's, it's since been discontinued, actually. You can't actually get them anymore. I was lucky enough to grab one like about a month before they stopped offering them. Um, oh, hello. A very golden chest there. Um, yes, yeah, so I got kind of lucky with that, really. Um... Don't think I'm going to be taking that. Uh, and so it means that I'm able to have like a little bit extra saved up for when that happens. When I go and put, put a deposit down. Lots of cards at the minute. Lots of cards. Still though, that doesn't mean by... That's like not by any means saying that it's going to be easy now. Like, I get some extra money towards my deposit, but if the deposit's like 20 grand, then... Doesn't mean much. Really should have used the Ace of Diamonds in that room, but I, don't, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, it's 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 a really it really is a bit of a shame, really, because like, kind of I'm 24 now, um, coming on 25, and I was kind of hoping to have a house by 25, 
and it's looking very unlikely that that's going to be the case. Um, and even, even so, like, on top of that, other countries, I know that, like, Canada in particular is a country that has, like, just insane housing costs. Like, if you want to try and get a house in Vancouver, you're kind of just screwed. Um, I'm just going to use that here. I probably should use it in the boss fight, but I want to find my secret room real quick. Yeah, if you're trying to get a house in Vancouver, you're pretty much just screwed, apparently. Um, those are not good areas to be looking for houses. And it's just kind of a shame, like... It's... Obviously, it's kind of difficult, like, because you can't really do much about it nowadays, but... It would have been nice if past generations had some sort of forethought. <laughs> it wasn't just past generations that caused this, but it still would have helped. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I gotta say, it's just gonna be a real slog for, for people my age and people coming, even people past my age. It's gonna be pretty difficult for them to um, find themselves getting a house that doesn't cost like £200,000. Because like, for... Isn't even more than that, maybe? Because like for what what I'd want, it's looking like two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand pounds where I live, and that's just it's just nutty money. It's just crazy. And I know that like in like Canada and Vancouver and stuff, as I was saying, they're way more than that. They're like there's some houses that are, like over a million. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but yeah, in the UK, it's still pretty damn bad. I remember uh, my girlfriend's parents telling us about when they got their house for like sixteen thousand pounds. It's like what the hell? How did it get to this? I will check this out because I've got a lot of money. Um, speed down. Devil items can appear in any item pool. Tears up for each item that grants flight prevents you from ever getting flight. I like the idea of this. Considering this guy literally has torn wings, I think that's a really good uh, addition. Um... Do you know what? I'm going to take that too. I know it's a weird grab. It's not something that I really should be taking, but it gives us a black heart back. We're using a lot of black hearts, as you can see right now. I think it kind of works out. I think it kind of works out. But yeah, for example, you can see the poops are taking multiple hits to destroy here. But as soon as we clear the room, they're insta-destroying. It's very nice. I'm also liking the amount of poops that are about. Do you know what? I'll pop that in here. Got a nice suite of protection here, both from the wisps and other... I'm hoping the game doesn't crash here, but I will give it a go. We're only a few rooms into the floor, so I'm just going to take the risk. Very good, very nice. Let's see what we've got. Uh, one black heart, one damage up. Future items have a chance to be replaced with the Necronomicon. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. The damage is very necessary, and honestly, I'd be fine with grabbing Necronomicon right now. I'd be absolutely fine with it. Necronomicon in bad at all. But yeah, at the minute, I'm, like, reasonably happy where I am. I live in a flat, and I've been living here for, like, four years now. And it has been really good, actually. The internet here is fantastic. I live really, really close to uh, the offices. Not that I need to go into the office very often, but I live really close to the office regardless. Just where I live is, is very pretty as well. It's very nice, so it's really nice for, like, while it's hot at the minute, going on walks and stuff. Um... And then it's right next to the tram, which is basically transport around the entire city. It's it's really, really nice. Um, I've gotten pretty lucky with where, where I am. And rent is like £400 a month, something like that. It's it's not... Well, b between the two of us, so it's like 800 and something. I think it's more than that. I can't remember exactly how much it is now. Um, but me and my girlfriend obviously split that. So it's not too bad. What's going on? It's like the third golden penny we've had this run. Do I have something that's boosting my golden penny look for some reason? Because it feels like I must do. Keep grabbing him. This one's going long. This one's going real long. How far are you taking me, game? How far are you taking me? 68 penuskas. Do you know what? I'm even going to do that as well. I know it's not a big room, but that is an annoying room. Does Book of the Dead work if you didn't kill the enemies? Like, if I had a Book of the Dead charge then, and I used the Ace of Diamonds there, would it actually be able to, like, revive the enemies, or would that not work? How did that not hit you then? I'm confused. Okay, I'm, I'm screwing using that. It's annoying me. Oh, that's so good for us. Euthanasia is so good for us. And there's four enemies there, so I'm just going to pop this. Yeah, Euthanasia is really good with beams, especially if we can get our luck up a little bit, which obviously at the minute isn't great. 
We are lacking a key, though, which is a bit of a shame, considering we have as much money as we have. But look at that. Beautiful. Euthanasia is the best. Okay, they're just walking straight into my wisps here. And then we grab another black heart and a bomb. And it's, this is just going to be a pill that gets put in here, but oh well. Not really much going on with this chest. I very highly doubt it gives us anything for a single pill, but do you know what? A nickel's fine by me. I'll do, this, I'll do the boss right now and see if we get anything from it. Okay, we got that going on. Oh, it, it affects the whole thing. Interesting. Okay, and we did just get quite quite the decent luck upgrade here. Um, if we can keep it alive, that'd be great. Honestly, with our burn orbitals, there's more of a chance of us keeping it alive. It's not guaranteed, of course, but there is more of a chance. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm I'm currently at the minute in a in a good mood because for one, the weather's nice in the UK. I've been kind of talking about that the past few days, but also uh, I've just ordered takeaway. Oh my lord, we're at 98 cent already. I've just ordered takeaway and I'm excited for it to arrive. I got myself. What is going on? <laughs> I got myself a mixed grill, and I expect it to be muy bien, very delicious. Ah, uh, god damn it! I thought I'd lost perfection then. I really thought I'd lost it. Come on, just a little key. One key is all I need. That trinket would also be good. Because that would coincide well with the uh, thing you've got going on here. I really shouldn't be activating that until the other chest. Until the uh, wave is over, really. Game! I got telefragged. Vengeful spirit, thank you. I'm gonna take that now because I th I think once we get the Necronomicon, which it seemingly we inevitably will, we're gonna get we're gonna have double damage on that. So we still get the effect of the item we originally took, and we get the alt version as well. I I like that. I like it, and we should hopefully get Bookworm relatively easily here. Bit of a shame to lose perfection, but it was always it was always in the cards for us, wasn't it? It was always in the cards. But yeah, mixed grill. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. Oh, this guy can have red health. <laughs> Hadn't realized that. I forgot. Like, we've gone so long without having any red health. Sadly still didn't get that key. There's a key though. We need multiple, really. 99 cents and nowhere to spend it right now. I don't know. What's what's your what's been your favourite takeaway order or, or place to, to go to? I kind of mix it up. I, at the minute, I'm I'm really into Greek. Um. Yes. That's bullshit. That is not what I thought that would do. Uh, I, I knew it wouldn't turn all of my soul hearts in, but I didn't know it... Uh, all my black hearts, but I didn't think it would turn my black hearts into soul hearts. That feels a little cruel. Like, I'm not entirely sure why you did that to me. That was a bit rude. God damn it. But yeah, I kind of toss it up different, uh, like, different days. Like, Greek when it's warm. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but... When, it, when it's warm, Greek food just feels right. And I'm going to Greece soon, so I'm really excited for that. So it's got me even more in the mood for uh, Greek food. Yeah, in October, I've booked a week on holiday to Greece. But do not worry, you guys will still get your juicy, juicy content. I'll make sure to keep uploading as normal. I'll just prep a bunch of videos before I go. Which is probably going to overwork me, but who gives a damn? <laughs> now, I, I luckily I backlog... I, I backlog for a fair amount, so I can I can take breaks pretty much whenever I want, which is really nice. Like I know that a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people get like serious burnout, and I've had people ask me as well, do you not get burnt out on Isaac? Is it not like difficult playing the same game over and over? And I mean, one part of it, like yes, playing the same game over and over and over again for a thousand hours can get dull. But modding always spices things up. There's always new mods to look at and new items that I haven't seen before in the mods that I've been using. So that's always nice. But on top of that, you will do. 
Uh, on top of that, like, I think be just because of the way that I play Isaac, obviously doing commentary um, and talking about life and just doing all that sort of stuff, I think it makes it a lot more tolerable um, in the long term. And I still actually really, really, really enjoy playing the game, like, a lot. I, I think th this game is pretty fantastic, um, and with mods it's even better, especially now I've managed to... Uh, get the lag problem mostly under wraps. I'm not going to say it's completely fixed, because it's not, but it's doing much better than it was, which is really good. So it's more watchable for you guys, more playable for me. Hey, there's a luck upgrade. Um, okay. Guess we just do some re-rolling to start with, because we definitely don't want portable slot. I'm looking for devil deal items, actually. Ooh, I will pay just to smelt this. I'll carry this with me if I do not get anything better, but yeah. Broken Murdom's real good here. Champion Belt's very nice as well. Unfortunately, we did break that, but this is a good pickup. And I think we just play you for the rest of this, because he can give me trinkets. And I would very much like trinkets. I'd also like um, some of his payouts, too, because some of his uh, item payouts are pretty good, from what I've seen. That is the Red Hourglass. On Damage has a chance to invoke the Glowing Hourglass effect, and it's golden. That seems pretty good. Ooh, also we got um members access card. Nice. That was that was a really good shot. Um yeah, I'm I'm interested to see for one if the golden actually takes effect here, if, if it being gold increases the chances, and for two how likely that chance ends up being cuz that could be that could be pretty saucy. No secret room there sadly. Yeah, that could be pretty damn saucy. Also, Smelter. I absolutely love Smelter. I'm hoping we can get a few trinkets smelted. It also increases the rate at which we find more trinkets, which is always nice. Something that I didn't know for a long time, but it does indeed increase your likelihood of finding trinkets. You are bested. Broken Murdom's also another great thing to grab. More damage. And here's the Necronomicon, finally. I'm just going to go with too spooky for now. The Necronomicon we'll probably end up seeing later, so I'm fine to just leave it for now. Uh, and also, I really want to get, like, another few things smelted, or at least get this smelted. This trinket seems worth smelting. I'm really annoyed that, like, all of our black hearts got converted to soul hearts. That just felt rude. This was not described to me in the job description of um, using that consumable. Good. Oh god, I didn't realise there was a spider spewer there. It kind of scared me. Yeah, I'm going to say it's kind of... I think it's the same with anything. Like, I watch a guy called Jolts Dude, um, who plays Borderlands, and he has, like, insane hours on... Um, I think he has, like, 4,000 hours or something close to that. I don't, I don't really want that, but golden collection is kind of interesting um oh definitely do want that yeah uh and he he's got like crazy hours in borderlands 2 and he was getting sort of answering the same question where people were like don't you get bored of playing just borderlands 2 all the time and it's like i would if i wasn't streaming it or wasn't recording it which is what spices it up it's what adds the enjoyment like for me obviously i don't stream isaac so it's not like i'm getting it's not from like the user feedback or like the people talk like talking in chat but for me, um, Isaac is just kind of a backdrop for um, for me to, for one, have a bit of fun and a bit of a, I don't know, a bit of an escape, uh, but also just like a, a platform for me to kind of rant and talk about my day, things that have been bothering me, and I don't know, anything really. It just allows me to have, um, have a fun time just playing something on my own. Um, and then also, like, I think... I know that I, I know that from some people's perspective, and some people have had this, that where, like, the positivity and comments and stuff you get from YouTube can inflate your ego a little bit, but I think at least at this point, I can hopefully safely say that that hasn't affected me. I mean, some people might beg to differ, but I hope that hasn't been something that anyone's noticed. Um, and it's, it's really nice to, like, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm ever feeling a bit shitty, if I'm ever feeling a bit down, I can just kind of go to my YouTube comments and, um, ooh, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Um, there's Necronomicon again. I don't want broken stopwatch here. Let's go down here first. Um, I think that's worth it. Oh, maybe not. That is a pathetic tears up. What? Did I just... I paid for a golden penny and it propped once. 
That's just evil. That's just evil. I paid for a golden penny and it procced a single time. <laughs> this doesn't do anything for us, but I'll grab it regardless. Thank you, thank you. Forget what I was talking about now. Golden penny procking once, what a waste of money. Yeah, the pe the pebble fire rate up isn't good, but it's 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 decent. I can grab that and then I can come back over here. And was it in here? Yes. Grab that. Grab that locust of death. We've not seen any um devil deal items show up from the clipped wings yet. Which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping we'd be seeing quite a few devil deal items, considering I've got the main pull of that item. Or torn wings, whatever it was called. <laughs> Ooh, the Fallen. Should get a Devil Deal item here. You watch it be the Necronomicon. It wasn't. It was Betrayal. Unfortunate. Betrayal is a Betrayal. Absolutely. But yeah, it's just kind of more of an outlet for me nowadays. I, like, obviously I enjoy doing my other games on the channel as well. But like, I never, I never really thought that I'd be the sort of person to do what I'm doing now. Like, I used to watch Northern Lion regularly. I still watch him from time to time, but I just don't have the time to watch him as regularly as I used to. But I used to watch him really regularly. Um, ooh, thank you very much. Um, I used to watch him really regularly and, um, oh god. This room's a bit framey. I don't know what in here is causing it, but something in here is, uh causing the game to not be okay. Um, and I, I was like, I was, even when I was doing YouTube at the time, I was always kind of like, you know, I don't think I'd ever do what he does and do the same game every single day. I think just having my, my lost buddy is, uh, is is just killing the frame rate, which is a shame because he is cool. So, but because of that, I'm going to drop him. Yeah, he, that that's exactly what was, I don't know what's going on with that, but that was killing the frames. Does the um, thingy say anything? Um, we got another tainted treasure room here. Check it out. Um, reduce the spawn rate of champion enemies when entering a new room or taking damage gain an aura that strongly repels enemies and projectiles for four seconds. I like the idea behind that. I know we're losing champion belt, um, and we're going to get fewer champions, but I like the idea. It does seem that the crash is fixed in that room, by the way. Very nice to see. Um... Yeah, I never, I never really thought I'd be the sort of person that'd be, like, doing a daily series of just one game, but... I don't know, when Repentance came out, it just revitalised me. Because I, I did start my channel doing Enter the Gungeon daily, um, uh, until I finished the save file. And then I started doing, like, a bit of Enter the Gungeon, a bit of Isaac, and a bit of a few other bits and bobs. And I'd never done Isaac daily, but when Repentance came out, I was kind of thinking, do you know what? I'll do Isaac daily for, like, a month, maybe two months, just because everyone will be watching more, and it'll get, kind of make more sense to do so. And um, so I was like, okay, I'll, um, oh god, I'll, um, play, play daily, record daily, um, for a little while. And then I got up to, like, a 70 backlog, like, an insane backlog. Um, and I was kind of like, oh, damn, I'm, I'm loving this game so much and loving recording it so much that I'm literally recording, like, four videos a day at some point. Obviously, I don't do that anymore, but I was. And so I was like, damn. I, I should just keep doing this. And and also, obviously, the viewership was um was pretty good too. Especially after the two left thumbs shout out. Uh, I kind of started the series on like four or five hundred views an episode. And then two left thumbs came along and it kind of rose to about eight hundred to a thousand um, every now and again. Then it kind of dipped again a little bit. But then when I started the modded series, it's come back up to a really, a really nice level where I'm pretty much guaranteed to get a thousand views per video now, which is just awesome. Awesome to think about. I never thought I'd get to a point where that would be the case. And it's, yeah, it's insane to see that. Uh, what we got in here? Um, I think for 10 cent, that's kind of worth it. Yeah, get, getting to that point is just kind of nuts. I, I didn't I didn't think I'd get to that point. And then also, like, I'm not saying we're close. We're still probably a good few months off of it. Maybe even, maybe before the end of the year, but I'm not 100% sure. But we're, we're getting close to 10k subs, which has always been, like, my ultimate goal. I've always sort of said to myself that 10k subs has been my ultimate goal, and 20k is when I know I've made it. 20k is when I know I've let it, like... This has been for something. I mean, I, I, it's all it's all been for something anyways, because I just enjoy it. But, like, 20k is, like, that's, that's crazy numbers. 
But we're, we're, we're closing in on 10k, and that's, that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. We'll go for the damage. Considering we lost some damage from Champion Belt's removal. Oh god, that's a lot of mini monstros right there. That's a lot of mini monstros. I need to quickly check out my order. See when it arrives. Okay, it's not on the map yet. That's fine, that's fine. But yeah, I, I, I don't really know what I thought when I first got into YouTube, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't say I didn't think I'd be doing it this long, but... I, I didn't think it'd go as well as it has, and thus I probably wouldn't have been doing it as long if it hadn't have gone as well. But pretty much from the get-go, like, I've obviously not had growth like some people have. Obviously, BD1P got onto the scene way later than I did and, and got a huge viewership spike, but he also made some really long-form edited videos, which tend to be better for gaining subs and stuff. And obviously, his content's very high quality too, not to be understated. Um... But yeah, despite that, I think I've made, my growth has been pretty respectable. I, I mean, I've been doing YouTube about four years now. Um, so it is, a, it is kind of a long time to get to where I am. But it's kind of one of those things where I enjoyed it, so I just stuck at it. And it just kind of comes with time. you just gotta, you just got to stay focused. And I've, I've had friends come and go in the, um, in the streamer and uh, YouTube scene, both IRL and online, that have kind of got into it and gotten demotivated by low viewership or, or low growth and kind of... You, can, you see that then? It reflected the shot and I walked into it. Uh, by like low growth or low viewership or whatever. And it can be difficult. Oh my god, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Um, it can be difficult and staying motivated, especially through some tough times. Like I've I've had some really um, sort of low moments with my YouTube channel. When it's not particularly because of my channel or anything that's happening on it. Just like getting really discouraged. I've kind of spoken about this a little bit recently. How it's so easy to get discouraged when you look at other people's viewerships and what they're doing. Or if you compare yourself to other channels that are doing something similar. You really can't do that. You can't afford to. It gets in your head too much. But um, I think despite that, I've managed to get through um, even some of the slower times. I think I will take the Necronomicon now. Um, and... I'll take that. Yeah, I'll just take that. And we'll be on our way. I, was, I really wanted Little Horn 2, but it's just a hell of a gamble for three soul hearts. We haven't had Glowing Hourglass trigger a single time yet, which is a bit of a shame. Deep pockets. Very nice. Okay, it looks like we're going the right way here. I just walked right into that. I just went a bit too fast. Okay. We're doing just fine. Oh, that's a lot of lucky pennies. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed what happened there, but Deep Pockets spawned a lucky penny, which meant that it spawned multiple lucky pennies. Oh my god, we might die. Uh, which meant that it spawned multiple lucky pennies, but then on top of that... Uh, broken Murdom triggered and doubled what it spawned. So instead of three golden penny, uh, sorry, two luck pennies, I think we got four. Pretty good stuff. A one room? Let's go for it. Because the thing is, we keep... We get to keep our um, thingy, moving box... I think I'd rather have the D1, thank you. I'll red ruin the moving box though. Um, we got nine lives. We get to keep all the trinkets we smelted. Uh, I wouldn't say this is particularly better, but it's not terrible. Oh, glowing hourglass. It triggered finally. After me uh, calling it out for being bullshit. Damage wise, we're still looking pretty good. Obviously, losing more of the void is a bit sucky. Uh, gasoline's nice. Eye of Belial is. Not great with this setup, to be honest. We have the burnt dollars. We're going to lose our money at the end of the floor as well. I probably should have d one that. But actually, no, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't make any difference if I d one it or not. If I can only do it once. Yeah. Explorer's Instinct there as well. Oh. That, that, 
That could actually be very problematic for me. <laughs> I never, I hadn't really thought about how um, having glowing hourglass effects every now and again on a boss fight could actually be pretty annoying. Got you hit with that. Good. Not too bad, not too bad. The Angel Crown has been unlocked, and we're going Dark Path here, right? We still have the uh, the negative. Yes, we do. I don't think Hush is plausible with this setup. With our past one, with more HP, then yes. But we have actually kind of saved ourselves, though, because we managed to gain a lot more HP out of doing that, really. Up on that. Okay. I've always wondered, why is Nine Lives a familiar? Why why is it a follower? What's what's the benefit to that? Is there a reason behind it, or is it just just because? Because, 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 because of the wonderful things he does. What up, Sloth? Yes, I was just about to say, kind of doing Sloth for Bob's Rotten Head or the chance at a decent card, and we got Error Walk, which is... Definitely a decent card. Yeah. This has to be a pain. Gasoline is kind of doing a good job of creating just a nice wall of fire for us here. Get some mini Isaacs in there as well. I see you there, Dominic. Excuse me? Are you okay again? Dominic? Okay, <laughs> Dominic, no work. That Dominic is non-existent for us. I doubt it's going to be here, but I'll check it. Oh, every single part of that chain counts as a separate entity. Oh, come on, I went doubly the wrong way. It's just sad. Okay, one moment. Damn, I had to pause because I've been told, I've been informed that my my takeaway order isn't going to arrive. Apparently, the uh, the delivery driver like had an issue with their car or something, and so they've had to cancel the order and send a new one, which means I've now got to wait like another 50 minutes. Big sad. I mean, I'm fine with that, to be fair. Oh, God, please don't tell me I'm going to die here. I'm, I'm not doing well right now. Um... But, like I guess I'm, I'm mostly fine with it, but it is still a bit sad, because it literally, I'd, like, ordered it, I'd set it up to arrive pretty much the very moment I finished recording this video. Eh, Monstrums isn't really going to do much for us. Can't believe I went, like, all the wrong ways here. We went so far the wrong way that we got Explorer's Instincts. I'm getting hit a lot right now. These later floors are, are rough, to be fair. These little flaws can be really difficult. Good. Don't you dare. Oh, ho, ho. those things are insane. That's also insane. I might have to use Error Walk on the... Oh, you telefrag me, you bitch. I might have to use Error Walk on the boss fight here. I mean, I've got a few attempts. I won't do it to start with. Okay. Oh, just a tad too early. Okay. Did, did I seriously not boop him then? Boop him! I'm trying to get the bloody boop. I need the extra damage from the boop. I require it. Ah, oh, ha ha ha. This is going to be rough, boys. That's still my favourite tactic in this entire game. Just being able to do that bomb. So good. Oh, I 
saw that brimstone come in. Damn it! I'm trying my hardest here. I'm trying to use Purgatory as much as I can. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. We can do this. The bombs are going well. This second phase is gonna be rough though. <laughs> this is probably us. This is probably us done. Kaputski, so to say. Because I like I used bombs for that entire phase then. I want to be able to hit him. There you go. I actually hit him this time. Upside damage by a lot. Doesn't last very long though, unfortunately. That was close. I want Pegatory to go do its thing. Okay. I still think with the with it having two speed in the way that this boss works, it's just gonna be really rough for us to um yeah. I'm just too fast. This time we're error walking. Okay, that was significantly slower. I don't even know if Error Walk's gonna help, you know? Like, it's kind of useful. But it's going to kind of make some shots actually harder to dodge. Okay, first phase is done. I still think the second phase is going to be really rough, even with Error Walk. Because I moved too fast. Like that. I just walked right into it. Like, I don't know what the fuck I meant to do. That was way too early. I don't even know what I, what was the point in that. I think we're Dunyan Rings here, boys. I think we're Dunyan Rings. Like we're doing okay on the first phase now, but second phase is too difficult with two speed. At least for me. For most people, probably not. But for me, can't hack it. Especially if I want to try and apply the brimstone curse, which is just, yeah. Trying to get Purgatory to proc all the time. Like that looks so close and it, oh, you bastard. It's just too tough. It is, it's just too tough. If we had one more heart, this would be so plausible because we could actually pick up these red hearts. But with one heart, I'm gonna say it's over, baby. I need to get that coming down mod that tells you where the foot's gonna land. Because right now, that's our biggest issue. Not being able to see where the foot's going to land. Okay. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Keep dropping the leeches in really inconvenient positions too. Is not helping. Did that did that better accounted? It actually died. Are you kidding me? That didn't count. Fuck you. I just want my takeaway. <laughs> oh my god. The stupid leeches, man. How are they allowed? Illegal. Should be illegal, my dudes. I don't know where my uh, purgatory thing is either. I see it, I see it. And now it's directly underneath him. Probably not going to get it again, this phase. God damn, that bloody corner is so hard to see the Purgatory ring in. There's a leech in the house. Every fucking time. The fight never takes this long, so I don't know how to do the second phase. Normally it's dead in like two seconds. I don't know how to handle it, because normally it dies so fast. This is the last attempt, though. And, yeah, there you go. That was brutal. Oh, we got... Oh, okay, 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 okay. It came in clutch. It came in clutch. This is kind of rough. Oh, this is kind of rough. I need to push him back some. Damn it. Just doesn't reach. Just doesn't reach. Seems like when Abel goes in front of me, fires Brimstone for some reason. I'm not sure if that's like just like coincidence, but that's happened like twice now. The leeches, my guys. The leeches. Oh, the fucking leeches! Wait, what? What the? Now I'm just confused. Now I'm just confused. We're the Keeper, and we, for some reason, have way more damage. Seemingly. This this might be good. I don't know. I can't say for sure, because we've only got two health. But honestly, two health's more than we've had in every other attempt so far, so... Let's not knock it. This has been, like, the war of attrition. It really has. I think killing leeches is going to be easier. With this setup. And... What? 
This is just confusing. <laughs> this will never end. Okay, back to the laser beam. Managed to hit him with the Brimstone's Curse. That should buff our damage up quite a bit. Okay. I'm in super, super focus mode right now. I saw you there, Leech. Oh my god. He's done it. <laughs> it took him fucking, uh, what, like 15 attempts? But he's actually gone and done it. Holy. Holy. Now, is there any of these that can save us? I actually think we grab this. And we come back as the keeper. I think we have a way better chance. Just because we know that the keeper actually gets to use... Um, ocular, whatever it's called. Not ocular. You know what I'm on about. You know what I'm talking about. My lord. I know we're not going to get the achievement this way for killing thingy with um, Tainted Azazel, but god diggity damn did I need an out. I got hit. No! Doesn't matter. I died anyways. What a run. Holy hell. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.